Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to uh, another video of mine. And uh, today, I'm going to be working on this year, a GTX 660 OEM. Um, usually, a GTX 660 looks a little more like this. Uh, minus, of course, the Vaseline potentiometers, zip tied on heatsink and capacitors on the back but uh yeah gtx 660 usually has a gk 106 core whereas the oem variant has a gk 104 core that uh, you would usually only find on higher end gpus like the gtx 670 and 680. what i noticed when i went to check heart robot the 660 oem actually has its own category which is why i'm even attempting to fix this one but uh yeah this one's dead i don't really know what's wrong with it i haven't taken a closer look at it yet but uh yeah that's what i wanted to do in this very video first thing you should do when you have a dead gpu you want to check for shorts on your power input rails and that would be 12 volts there 12 volts here and 3.3 volts over there so just pick a ground Display outputs this ground, and we're in diode mode, which means that if I touch anything that is connected to ground, the multimeter is going to beep. Let's check 12 volts. PCI slot 12 volt is fine. Let's check the 6 pin, which is also fine. So 12 volt whales are completely fine. There's no shorts there, which is good. And 3.3 volts is also perfectly fine. Well, since there's no short on the power input rails, it would technically be safe to plug this thing in and just see what it does. Um, though before I do that, I do kind of want to check for shorts on the voltage rails that the cart itself creates. And that would be um, 5 volts. That's the LDO. That's kind of hidden between the um, display outputs there. V-core right here, which is this four phase. This, down, this two phase down here is V-mem. And I think this integrated buck converter right there there's pex now core six ohms perfectly fine no short there memory 102 ohms no short and pex i think this pin right there and i'm getting about 195 ohms we have 200 ish 200 something ohms on pex uh, which also seems fine um, for like a Kepler GPU. So probably just a missing voltage rail. Let's see what it does. I do have V-Core. I do also have V-Mem. Uh, I'm assuming I don't have PEX then, I guess. That's a... Uh, sitting at 500 millivolts, which I believe is exactly half of what it's supposed to be. Um, PEX usually sits at about one volt. It's either like a dead buck converter, which I've seen that plenty of times before, or it's uh, something wrong with the feedback circuitry. I'm just gonna go with defective PEX buck converter there. Let's see what it is. GS? 7103 let me just do some quick research and see what i can find yep 3 amp ultra low dropout linear regulator all right i think that's my issue feedback maybe feedback's messed up i don't expect feedback to be messed up though dead feedback circuitries are kind of rare well i mean let me put it this way i haven't seen a whole lot of them Oh, I didn't even check 5 volts. <laughs> I just realized that I skipped 5 volts altogether. Well, I mean, I guess it's working because we have a uh, VCAR in memory. I'm going to go with dead GS7103. Let me see if reflowing this thing does anything. Maybe that brings it back to life. This, by the way, would not be a proper fix. So just reflowing it might bring it back for... A couple hours but it would there's a good chance that it just drops dead on you again so 
I guess if I uh, can get my hands on to replace one of those, I guess there's still this. Well, anyways, um, I'm just going to reflow this one quickly and see if it comes back to life that way. And uh, if not, it's very likely just going to be this right here. So, uh, yeah, let me just do that really quickly and I will be right back. So, I just uh, gave this thing a quick reflow. Maybe it works now. Maybe it doesn't. I guess we'll see. All right, multimeter on. I'm gonna put it right back. Oops, I probably have to plug the GPU in for it to work. Power supply's on. No, did not fix it. PEX is still at just 500 millivolts. Core is working. Memory is working, so it really is PEX. Okay, unfortunately this is not going to be a fix, at least until I, again, either put this thing on there, which is actually quite dusty, I just realized, wow, uh, or get a replacement GS7103. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Unfortunately, not a fix, though uh, there's a good chance that I will just quickly attach the e-power and see if it still works. And if it does, uh, you'll definitely be seeing this GPU again on the channel because, uh, well, I want to bench it. I want to see how far I can overclock it. Anyways, it's going to be it for this one. And uh, yeah, well, see you guys again in the very next video. Have a good one.